One of the new features to the user interface in Safeguard, or maybe to Safeguard itself, of course, is about dynamic grouping and tagging. Dynamic grouping and tagging helps to classify assets, allowing Safeguard to assign automatically provisioned systems and accounts to a policy. Tags allow asset administrators to add additional metadata to accounts and assets to enrich the data on the object as it is added to Safeguard. Tags can be dynamically added to assets and accounts based on tagging rules, or they can be added, of course, manually. A policy administrator then can create rules based on tag or other attributes that we are supporting inside Safeguard for accounts and assets, such as whatever name, platform, petition, network, and so on. And then you can use this information or these uh, rules to define group membership. Once you have done this, all the groups that you have defined can be used as, as usual with the uh, definitions in your entitlements or access request policies. So let's have a look on this. So for instance, to create a tag, go to the settings menu inside Safeguard, go to asset management, this is located over usually here, you see tags, and then create a new tag. In this case, let's create a Linux tag. And now you have the possibility to, to place the tag on the account or on the asset. So you can tag uh, the accounts on that asset as well as the asset itself. But we're going to see how this goes. For the asset account, okay, I just intend to just to tag my assets, not my accounts on that asset. So I just do not want to include an account rule for this tag. And I simply go to asset rules. And the first one I want to see, okay, I want to play this, place this Linux tag on my asset if the description contains Linux. Or maybe the platform contains Linux. So either if the asset contains Linux in its name or it is just running on a Linux platform that is discovered by Safeguard in the asset discovery process or by adding the asset manually, if the platform is something containing something somehow containing Linux, it will automatically assign that tag to my asset. I can have a preview on this. So it comes back with only one system that fulfills the asset rule. That's fine for me, it's only one, I know. So this can be then simply uh, defined by clicking on the next button and confirming the summary. Just one short description here on that forms you see. You can have additional groupings, you can have groups in groups and groups in, in groups and so on. You can structure it very deep and you can, can group it like you want, but uh, yeah, of course, don't make it too complicated. Otherwise it may be whatever, end up in some funny tagging rules or account or asset rules, whatever you want. So I would just keep it pretty much as simple as it, as it should. Okay, click on next and just confirm here. First one, you, you, you see no rule. Okay, that's fine because we haven't de defined an asset account rule. Just click, click, here, click on here on the asset rule. And now you see your rule that you have defined before. That's what's what we wanted and click on add. And now you have defined your first tag in the safeguard. So how do you see when this tag is applied to an asset? Just click on asset. And I know I have this Ubuntu system here. That is one of my Linux systems. The other ones are Windows. Here I do not see a tag in the moment, but maybe I just need to wait a little bit until this is updated. And now coming back to here, just the refresh happened. So I see my Linux tag automatically assigned to my asset. And now I could go on and define something like a dynamic group whatever, like here, like an asset or an account group, whatever you want. Maybe I want to, to define a an, an dynamic asset group here as well. So this is something I have to do. select here. Now I can define a dynamic group. I make it a Linux group based on the Linux tag. And my asset rule in this case is can be selected like the tag contains Linux. I have preview, check it. Now it detects exactly one system. And I add this Linux group, this dynamic group. And you see it already has picked up the system 
that fulfills the tagging rule for this dynamic group. And of course, if you use tagging or you, as you have seen, you can, can select lots of other attributes that we are supporting for the defining dynamic groups. And this is the same mechanism that applies to account groups, asset groups and user groups as well. So you can simply use additional metadata information or combine it with the other attributes to simplify your group membership management and mostly hand over the work to safeguard instead of doing it all on your on your own or hand, hand it over to the human administrators. And just to show you how you can use this created definition of this dynamic group in your normal entitlement and access request policy handling, simply as it is, go to entitlements, maybe select some kind of suitable entitlement or maybe create a new one. We can just create a new one. Unix session dynamic group tag, whatever you want. Click on next, add the entitlement and create the appropriate access request rule. And it should be a session. Go to the scope and add the asset group. And now you can select the dynamic group based on your tag as here. And it simply shows you that's a dynamic group with seeing that check mark here. And now you can just simply continue with your standard definition of your access request policy.